What's going on? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back. You guys know what it is. Look, my name is Beaker. I'm your host. We got Melly and Pi over there. Man, we're all back here. We even brought a carton of orange juice. I cannot explain why this is here, except it's very tasty. If I was to ask you guys, what's the biggest problem in Clash right now for you that is making the game less fun? I think that is the important word, less fun. What's making the game less fun for you? And I think, you know, the common answers are probably gonna be walls are ridiculously expensive, upgrades take a long time, town halls just in general take a long time to max. These are all valid concerns, but my counterpoint to those would be, they're all better than they've ever been. And I know that sounds maybe crazy, but when I first started playing Clash, which was like almost nine years ago, sounds insane. Spells took like 45 minutes to make. I'm talking one, one rage spell. Armies were the same way. Things took so long and they're all better now. All of those things made the game more fun. In, in my opinion, I think doing upgrades is fun. Getting stronger is fun. Except for one thing that has never been made better. And that leads me to my big question. Why can't we use heroes when they're upgrading? Now, I don't want to get your hopes up falsely, guys, because this is one of the many things Clash has been asked about, and they've said, no, we don't have any plans for that. But I still think it's important to talk about in a game that we love this much. Now, we're going to get into this today, and we're going to make a case study in why this is no fun and why it needs to change, because we're going to upgrade every one of these, and we're basically going to be sent back to the Stone Age. <laughs> I'm kind of picturing the leaders of an army being like, you know what? I got to upgrade my gear. Uh, I'll be back in a week. 100% of you out there might be like, uh, Beak, this is a problem you're making on yourself, bud. You're gonna upgrade every one of your heroes and then complain because they're upgrading? Yes, you're correct. It's an extreme example that I wanna show of the everyday example that you guys see, especially those of you who are free to play players. Think about this. Have you guys ever been in a clan and you've been either literally kicked out or sort of pushed out or, or made to feel like not a team player because you had to upgrade your heroes and you couldn't be in war. And therefore you're looked down upon like, hey, why are you upgrading your heroes right now? You can't be in war. If your clan is telling you, look, we need you in war. You can't upgrade your heroes unless you can afford to gem them or use a book. If they're telling you that, you're never gonna farm to max. You're never gonna get that all the way max. And therefore you're never gonna become a true asset to the clan because how are you gonna get max if you can never afford to let them upgrade for a week? Now guys, as we already saw, if we're gonna do three Dark Elixir heroes, that's gonna be almost a million Dark Elixir at full price. So we can't have it be full price. We've gotta finish the gold pass. And I didn't actually plan on doing this, but I really do want this to work. So let's go in here and uh, we have enough gems. Yeah, we got plenty. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, is there no Dark Rune in here? We need one. I am so glad that, th like I thought there was one. I thought there's one every month, right? Oh, that freaked me out. All right, guys, so before we go and actually do the upgrades and have no heroes for a week, why don't we try to do one final raid and sort of say goodbye to him? Uh, can we revenge? Dude, this could be good. Is this a town of 14? Yeah. Dude, this could be pretty good. Let's say goodbye to our heroes. <laughs> this is so sad. Uh, this siege won't target the town hall, right? No, because it's upgrading. So we'll go from the other side? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna drop the king down here. Maybe the queen as well. Let me start with the king though. Let me get the king right there. Get that, get that. Nice, okay. Okay, so as long as the king stays inside, let's use the king ability. See, this is why you're going to sleep for a week, bud. This is this is why you're going away. Okay, okay, get that, get that. Siege still good? Yep, he's good. Here we go. So besides all the heroes that we got in there, we've got one more hero, uh, the champion. Let's get that down. One of those guys over there, the rest right here. Let's go. So many freezes. Whoa, what is my queen doing? I don't know, she's getting nuked over there. So let's get some rage spells down. We don't have to worry about the tunnel itself because it's upgrading, but still the dragons are the only ones that are gonna hit it, right? Yeah, so I guess we can hit the warden ability any second. Nice, nice. So we got one more rage, let's get that down. Okay, get that. Perfect, perfection. Look at that one balloon. No, 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 you can do it, dude. Oh my God, if he gets this, I'm so proud. I am so proud of you, balloon. I'm so proud of you, that was incredible. So guys, that is a wrap. We got the three star. It wasn't like an incredibly high level max base. It's basically what we are, right? It's uh, 
But no matter what, it doesn't matter because we got the full gold and the full elixir. And we got our final raid with the heroes. Bye, guys. Cheers to the heroes. You're going to get upgraded. I'm sorry. So guys, think about this. Maybe there's a middle ground that I'm not seeing here. Maybe the solution to this should be we are able to use our heroes in war, even if they're upgrading. Because think about defenses. If I upgrade, you know, every one of my expos and then go into war and, you know, they're still upgrading, I'm still going to have expos in the war. War is different. It's like, um, it's like an alternate reality or like this snapshot of your base as if nothing was upgrading. You know, right now I'm upgrading balloons in here. I can still use the balloons. I just use them at the lower level. And I really think heroes could do that, man. All right, man. So... It's about to happen. We're about to be fighting without the generals of our army, right? The leaders of our army. Start the clock. In three, two, one. I missed. There we go. So we're going to do 10 second gap in between each one. Sometimes we go back and forth on that. Sometimes we do it different. But I think this is going to be good for this one. Nine. Done. Now we go into the clan castle. This should be exactly enough if I've done the math right. Yes. Seven. Eight. Nine, perfection. Now the next one, guys, all we need is a dark rune. Eight, nine, 30. And then we go over here on 40. We hit the uh, elixir on the Grand Warden. Eight, nine, 40. I can't believe this, dude. This is so sick. I am gonna love this so when these are done in six days, we gotta boost them on the final day. I can't wait to get these back. And I am not gonna gem them. I'm not gonna use a book. I am not gonna stop these for anything. Cause I wanna see what it's literally like to play Clash for a week or six days with no heroes. What a mess. Okay. Fingers crossed. Wish us luck. I think what we gotta do, guys, is find a base that has an upgrading town hall. No! <sighs> Guys, this isn't a revenge. This is just a normal raid. I went out looking for a raid and we find one of the best ones we've seen in a long time. And we have no heroes. We just don't have them. I mean, we could hit the boost army. That would actually help, but I guess I'll do it. I guess I'll do it. It's going to be hard enough without that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Um, okay. Okay. The good news is the town hall is not max, so that's definitely going to help, but uh, I don't even know where to begin. All right, man. So let me start this over here. Hopefully there's no Teslas or anything over there. Yeah, I think we're okay. So I keep thinking, drop the king over there. Drop the queen over there. There isn't any. Oh, no. This is going to be real rough. So if we can actually get a good raid on this, I'll be really proud of us. And I will. I mean, I don't know how to take that. Does that mean that it's not as bad as I thought? I don't think it really matters. I think for each person, it's going to be different. If you have fun playing like this, you should play like this. And if you don't have fun playing like this, then maybe something's wrong with the game. That's all I'm that's all I'm trying to say. Can I get both of those? Oh, that was so close. Roast it. That was sick. Okay, are you good over here, buddy? Yeah, I think he's good. Okay, great. So, no idea how we're going to clean up this base. Uh, we don't really have heroes that would normally be doing that. Yikes. Here we go. <laughs> here we go, here we go! Okay, we uh, didn't bring as many rages as I would have liked. Dude, this is gonna crash and burn. I can see that right now. Okay, get that, get that. Uh, I got I got a bunch of freezes here, so get that. Let's get this. I keep thinking, hit the warden ability. Hit the warden ability. It's not here. I think this is what you can expect. I think when you don't have your heroes, you can't do this in war. Man, that, that's what it comes down to. So you're either gonna be a team player and be in war, which might mean never upgrading your heroes or only upgrading them once in a while, which is never gonna get you to max. If you only upgrade your heroes once a month, you're never gonna get max, but that might be the only way to help your clan in clan wars. And that's sad, you know, that that's a bummer. 
I don't even really want to know how many people have quit for that very reason. Some people just get to the end of, of a game and they, they're like, okay, I've, I've achieved everything I want. That's great. But it's kind of a bummer when, you know, maybe somebody gets to Tunnel 14, gets to Tunnel 13, and they've reached the peak of the game, but they feel like either, you know, it should be time to switch into being a clan war, you know, clan war league pro, but they can't really get there because there's that final step of getting all those heroes max. It's really difficult, if not impossible, to farm your heroes to max and also be there for your clan every war at 100%. So guys, tomorrow is Saturday. We don't have videos on Saturday or Wednesday. Those are our days off, so we don't go completely crazy. So we will see you guys back here on Sunday. Peace.